Todd Matheson with Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. It's good to join you for some daily hope. I can still remember where I was when I received the phone call. My best friend had unexpectedly died. It was devastating. Unbelievable, really. Certainly unexpected. My friend was a high-energy pastor, a gifted preacher and teacher who made deep gospel impact on many throughout his ministry, my life included. I was asked to preach at his funeral. His dear wife and children chose the Bible verse for the message. These were the words of the Apostle Paul recorded in Philippians chapter 1, verse 21. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. It was a profound experience to declare with boldness, hope, and even joy that my friend was now with the Lord and that we could celebrate God's faithfulness to and through my friend's life and now in his death. Paul wrote these words from a prison cell. He's locked in chains and his death could occur on any day. He wakes up to this reality daily. Yet an even greater reality directs his heart. If he lives, there's further ministry. If he dies, well, that would be great gain. It was a perfect epitaph for my deceased friend. I recall one of my friend's somewhat odd adages about life where he would say it's helpful to live each day knowing it could be your last. And now his days were over, but his joy, was just beginning. To live is Christ, and to die is gain. It's a win-win proposition, my friend. You may feel a bit locked up by life right now. Well, take heart. God knows what you're going through. He cares, and he has a plan for each day of your life. And each day of your life is in God's hand. And if God in his wisdom should choose one day to call you home, well, then your faith will be made sight. You'll be with Christ in paradise, which is far greater than anything we can ever imagine. Let's pray. Father in heaven, you tell us that each day of our life is written in your book. You have a plan and purpose for this life, this one lifetime you give us. May we live it to the full by fully trusting in you and your presence, your guidance, your power, your provision for each day. And may we be found faithful because of your work within us until the day of Christ. One day when we will all be reunited around the throne to worship the Lamb, to whose name we bring glory and honor now and tomorrow. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining with me today. Be sure to like us and share this clip with someone who could use some daily hope. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to be notified whenever new daily hope drops. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.